What's up, fellow classers? It's Apollyon here, bringing you the end of the war against the, our arranged war against Fulman Morte. Uh, showing the Town Hall eight attacks. If you have not checked out the review and the Town Hall nine attacks, go ahead and check that video out. Uh, respect to Fulman Morte. Good, good uh, war. They brought the heat. Uh, they got it done. So good job to them, um, and good job to the Town Hall eights. Uh, need need them to hit a little quicker. But their hits are fantastic. I mean, uh, we had quite a bit of scouts, uh, and uh, they got the job done. Unfortunately, they don't have too many that I'm going to show here, maybe about five attacks, only because our bread-and-butter attack on clan wars, a range of wars like this, when we really need those three stars, especially on a fresh hit, are, um, you know, go-ho. That's it. I mean, you're going to get a, a, a three-star out of that. Nine, eight or nine times out of ten, no matter almost no matter what the base, is, especially against anti threes, um, it's just the tried and true method. I mean, it's it's it really is. I think um, nine out of our ten attacks were go hos of our our three star attacks. So it's that's just what it is. Watch them and you know get used to them because that's how you're going to get three stars against any type of open base or anti three star base, and even the two even the anti two bases. I mean, you can do it. It's just a little less um, um, conducive to it, but we'll go ahead and check this out. Logan using the Quad Quake Goho with uh, two golems of his own, Shattered Entry and uh, 19 golems, uh, I think, uh, with the five from the Clan Castle, so 24 uh, hogs, which is just about exactly what you want to bring. I mean, you can tweak it the way you want to, one or two more wizards, less wizards, whatever it is, depending on your funnel and what you need to get accomplished. But he goes and Quad Quakes this, um, you, you know, the, the whole point of the, the go-ho is to get these golems in there tanking for the defense and also tripping at least one giant bomb, but to possibly tripping a double giant bomb set if you can. Uh, the only problem with that, the quad quake entry, is you have nothing for this tier one um, uh, clan castle that's coming out. There's the trip of the double giant bomb. So in my eyes, um, you know, the, the, the base is completely toast and it's all over. Two heals for one giant bomb. With 25 hogs, you should be able to spam it where whatever you want, especially a good surgical like this, and just take out the base without any problem. All they have to do is worry about that one giant bomb. You see where the giant bomb spots are potentially. Um, so just go ahead and heal over those giant. There you go. Perfect heal over those giant bomb spots. There And there is a giant bomb. Look at that. So absolutely great. Um, loses a couple to spring traps, but it's not going to be a problem at all because he's got tons of hogs left over. Even those, <laughs> I love that, the, the last swag uh, hog three finger drop just for cleanup uh, by itself. So again, crushes, crushes, crushes this base and uh, absolutely no problem with that. Uh, we'll go ahead and check out number 27. Um, with a, it's, a, it's another quad quake, uh, uh, but it's a go Vaho. So we'll go ahead and check that out. And we just, you know, still bring in two golems, so very strong on the kill squad here. Wants to make that really good push. Uh, that quad quake uh, is going to open up a good portion of this base. Uh, wants to grab the lure because you're not going to have any poison. Unfortunately, those hogs are not cooperating. Uh, they are taking a detour. So um, I think, let's see what he does here. I didn't get a chance to watch this fully. And see if he just, he just goes for the quad quake. So... He, at this point, it's a pretty good lesson to say, look, I either have to invest more hogs. I don't have very many of them. I only have 16 more hogs, five in the clan castle. Uh, no, we, maybe he brought Valkyries. But he doesn't have very many hogs. So that, that initial push, push to get that clan castle did not work. And he did not get the lure from it. So either invest heavily more, another three to four more hogs to try to get it. Or let's just go on with the raid. And you know what? We'll let our wizards go ahead and take care of it. So it wasn't exactly as planned, but very good improv improvisation. Those wizards are doing uh, quite the funneling work. And uh, he's already dropped the quad quake. Drops those wall breakers in there to open it up. There goes the king. Uh, the the uh, Tesla goes down, so everything can reroute in there. Drops the, the Valkyries. Okay, so Valkyries in the clan castle. So he really didn't have any 
of them. And this is about the one of the worst clan castles you could get for this type of makeup because he has no poison at all. And, uh, you know, doesn't have too many wizards that have survived. So these wizards have got to step up and take out that uh, dragon. So um, very nicely done. And, uh, you know, if you could beat a base like this uh, with that type of thing, then you can beat it in any way. So those Valkyries are still up. A Golem is still up. It will be a Golemite very soon. There we go. Drops like a, I don't know, a giant in there just to distract that wizard tower, I guess. And uh, starts, he's going to have to be very picky with his hogs here. He only has one heal and uh, just a couple of hogs, like maybe uh, 10 or 11 hogs to push through this base. So they are making their way. And the fortunate thing for him is there's only three point defense things. So and one splash. So it takes out uh, that splash damage right there. And now we only got two point defenses. And uh, they're going to go ahead and stand in heals all the way into this archer tower and take it out. Very, very nice change. Um, and just uh, crush, ends up crushing this base, uh, even though I don't think things went perfectly to his plan on the entry. So way to keep going, way to not lose your cool, and way to go ahead and finish it up with those three stars. That's a really, really nice attack. All right, so let's look at a non-quad quake entry with number 28, K-Bear. And another go, uh, go ho, but this time we're just using a, a cold blooded, just one golem to go push through there, and uh, no quad quake. So we've got to use some wall breakers to get in. So when you're using just one golem like a cold blooded like this, your push is not really. You're not expecting a very, very far push. You just want to trigger those giant bombs or double giant bomb sets, and not really make your way through the rest of the base. Um, you're going to use your hogs to do that, and once a giant bomb and double giant bomb sets are triggered, uh, your hogs have uh, free reign on the base. So drops one poison, and I think we're going to drop the second poison. And there they go. So there goes the uh, cold blooded entrance. And you'll see that he gets a lot of those point defenses. Look at that. All, everything is pointed at the golem, even the king. So we'll drop the uh, friendly king in to take that king on king and swap them out. Actually, we won't swap them out. Uh, he'll destroy that enemy king and then he'll keep going. So um, the uh, wall breakers break in to get to, into that first compartment. Very nice funneling done here. Wall breakers will go ahead and break into the second one or second first compartment just to keep things a little bit more open. The golem is pretty much toast at this spot at this point. And I don't know if we tripped any giant bombs yet. So need to use that king's ability like yesterday. Well, we won't get that. So uh, misses the king's ability. So that's, you know, uh, it just goes to show you, you can make mistakes with this strategy and still get a three star. So we, we use the first heal there. We have uh, nine more hogs left. No, ten more hogs left. And two more heals to go. So very, very patient on the deployment of these hogs. Very nicely done. And uh, I'm trying to see where the, the double giant bomb is. I think a giant bomb will be right. Well, I don't know where any of them are. So... Let's, uh, huh? I, uh, did we trip any giant bombs? So I guess not. Those skellies are doing tons of work, but uh, that mortar is all taken out. They could turn. Enemy king is already down, so those hogs don't have to worry about it. Just They just have to worry about tripping that. All three of those giant bombs that have not been tripped from what I can see. But um, let's see here. I have no idea where any of them were. That's really, really weird. Okay, but... Uh, it's a really weird three star so that's a any three star is good all right two more let's check out 32 because this is i think the only that was the base that was hit without uh goho it's a mass no is that oh i'm sorry 33 that was a goha so we willie is going to go ahead and take this out with a mass hog so this is the only base that was hit without using goho so I, this might be a cleanup. I don't know. I'm not sure. Or it just might be an internet base because it looks like an anti-two base. 
So yeah, I think this is an uh, uh, internet base. So we know where the giant bombs are on internet bases. Uh, there's only a few spots for them to be on an internet base, and especially on this one. Um, so he's already taken out two of these uh, spots, and uh, at this point, the base is completely crushed. Uh, there's very few um, uh, giant bomb spots they can be. So you can go ahead and do that two finger drop on this type of base now that you've already eliminated two of them and you don't have to worry about anything. So he uses that first heal, he uses that second heal and we are skating our way through this base. Drops the king down on the bottom for some early cleanup um, and uh, drops that last uh, hog in there, or the last heal in there for those hogs and uh, they're making their way through the rest of this base. Uh, do we trip that? Yeah, there we go. There's that last that last giant bomb and I think the hogs most of the hogs were in heal on that one too so um, yeah this base is toast we are gonna go ahead and fast forward it they take out the skelly traps uh, they take out the enemy king and now it's just smooth sailing from there or smooth riding whatever you want to say smooth hog riding good good attack and good uh, six star war to him as we're gonna check out the last town hall eight attack um, just to show you the you know the lowest level attack that we have another goho uh this time uh not a uh, quad quake so it's good to mix things up a little bit and show you a couple quad quake ones and a couple of uh wall breaker entries so a very big investment on this particular one but he does get the lure and uh you know starts that funneling and starts eliminating a lot of these uh defenses for um giant bomb spots very nice use of that poison drops it in uh, through the, the, the portion of that lore. So that's very, very good and, and taking care of that time. And drops the second poison in there. And we're going to go ahead and speed it up a little bit. And what do we got? Uh, one golem. So just the cold-blooded entry again. Uh, didn't get that... Uh, I wonder why. I thought two poisons get it. But, uh, I mean, that dragon is, like, on b below life support. So... Uh, drops the golem in there, drops the wizards for funneling, and uh, we have eight wall breakers. Wow, and a rage too. So let's go ahead and get those wall breakers in there. And um, I'm assuming he's going to rage it up right now and we'll rage those wall breakers. Those wall breakers will get in. Well, they just got taken out by that, unfortunately, by that mortar. But uh, if they didn't get taken out by that mortar, they would have blown up the entire base. And uh, he got very little out of those wall breakers, unfortunately, just because of that mortar. Bad, bad timing. It's tough to time when your, your wall breakers run into rage because then they just take off and you, just, you don't know. So it's time to send those hogs in. Has two heals left over for these. Um, has he tripped the giant bomb yet? I don't, I don't remember seeing it. So there we go with one, and there's another. So there's the double giant bomb set just in time, right before those hogs get across there. So perfectly done by that golem. He's the MVP for this particular war. And uh, those hogs finish it up with that last heal and the top, and then it's just time to clean up. So swags the poison, or the poison swags the heal, uh, or has a swag heal. There we go. And crushes this base as well. So again... Uh, shout out to uh, Fulman Morte and uh, great job by the Town Hall 8s too. I mean, um, just really, really nice fresh hits and, and uh, good job to all those that they got the six stars. And even those that didn't get the six stars because they had to go ahead and do scouts for us. So they weren't given the opportunity to get six stars. So appreciate the effort and way to go to uh, those guys in WHF Rising. Hopefully you were, uh, you know, able to take these attacks, uh, get the compositions, get the deployments, practice them out. Uh, if you got to do them in a farming raid, do them in a farming raid. Uh, try to find the best bases you can hit and, uh, you know, go ahead and get used to the timing, um, you know, how they go in, when you need to heal, when you need to rage, and how you deploy your surgical hogs. Get your six-star clan wars and practice those three-star attacks.